Hey, what is up everybody, and welcome back to yet another episode of the Minecraft world. Uh, I forgot what the series is called now. Right, it's been a long time since I've actually done any enchantments, so how about we do something? This is cheaper. And... Yes, might five on this. Right, uh, yeah, so I, now, how much damage does this do? Still nine, but that's because it doesn't have sharpness. It has smite, though. Smite is useful against undead mobs, so skeletons, zombies, uh, I believe withers, uh, not blaze or anything like that, that's why I have my sword still, but this should be able to do plenty of damage, especially a crit hit. That should one kill them with smite, and for the rest I have the sword. Right, so what am I going to do today? I have no idea. Oh uh, yeah, I'm going to show you what I did at the purple farm, like right now. Um, it's pretty much complete, however, I want to redo the collection system. Because I realised that it doesn't actually work. Um, I mean, yeah, it works fine, but it would be nice for this to load in. It works fine, but it's really slow, and I had whole bunch of items despawn, so maybe not that well. Assembly had to pause recording and it's all loaded in instantly. But no, this still, this thing works, uh, we can do a harvest right now I think, it's all fully grown, uh, got nothing in there now. I can show you in the back here, um, got some redstone. Um, I needed to basically send one more tick to this, or two, technically. So I had to do a little bit of a trick here. That took a long time to make for some reason. And then just got simple hops going to the chests. And here's an item elevator. And this is the minecart system. And this goes to switch all the water on. But the reason this doesn't work is because um, where I had these minecarts, the hopper only goes down one block, so if this minecart is em emptying, this cannot go because there's items running through the hopper underneath it, so it, it thinks that this minecart still has items in it. And it's going to take too long to remake the whole thing. I mean, I could do it, but I'm thinking maybe just doing hoppers is going to be faster. And over here I've got access and over there as well to... Go up here and plant the stuff. Um, yeah, it should work pretty well. I have glass here and at the back as well to prevent anything from going too far. And also trap doors on the sides so that it doesn't grow that way and doesn't go on the sides either. Yeah, that's about it. Um, this farm can be designed to go all the way around, um, however I do not recommend it because you'd need a lot of purple, and you'd get way too much and you'd need a different collection system, but anyway, the idea is to now go and get all the harvest, but I'm going to need to come up with a better way of getting up there, for now I'm just going to use rockets. And... I'll be back. The only problem with a farm this size is that you have to be incredibly quick to collect all of these. And I mean pretty much like 90% otherwise you won't have enough to, for a full replant. And you only have 5 minutes to do this before they start despawning which is bad. So I kind of have to speed along here. And you have to do this twice basically. Like, you barely have enough time to do it on one side. So maybe I'll have two different controls. Maybe I'll have one for this side and one for that side. Like pull two levers or something. So that you can start collecting this before it all despawns. Oops. 
Oh well, I'm gonna uh, go down here now. Whoops. Just destroyed something. So I just realized something. Um, for some, for some reason, I can never get V-Sync to work on Minecraft. And then, after playing in Alpha just a few days ago, and having joined back into this world, V-Sync is for some reason on. And it actually works. Like, I, I don't know how that works, but... A yes, yay, no screen tearing in Minecraft, but a limit of 75 FPS. It's good enough, though. Alright, that should hopefully be enough, so I shall not go that way. I shall go this way. Oh, boy. I'll just go a long way around, then. Okay, the good thing is, is that I ran out of seeds earlier from the last plant, because now I'm going to have more time to do these. Okay, whoops. Oh well, do them down here now. It's quite boring to be honest. It takes way too long. I wish that the, you didn't have to break the seeds. Like that would make life so much easier. Maybe they can change that in 1.13. I think I might upgrade if they do that. Of course they won't listen to me. They don't even know I exist. Okay, almost there. I uh, just go down here, make sure there's none that I missed out that I can reach. Alright, there's probably way more that I can get, but I am running out of time here. It's been a while. And go. And this is lag time, basically. For the first few minutes, or seconds, I mean. A few still do make it on the outside here, but I'm not too worried about it. Um, ideally, I'd put tra trapdoors on this, to pre on like the very bottom only, to prevent anything like that happening. Um, I think I'll do that. I think I'll probably have enough trapdoors to do it. But that would probably fix it, uh, because it would have to be very close to this when it hits. And if there's a trapdoor here, then it probably won't hit. It will. It probably won't go down. But as you can see, uh, this minecart is probably done. Oh, never mind. Let's put stuff into this one. But no, the minecarts just aren't fast enough, unless I have more of them running. But that won't work well with it. Anyway, here's how this how this works. Just like that. No beacons. That's why the axe is good. Bet, bet most of my seeds are despawning de now. I don't see any, apart from one that I saw a few blocks away. I won't be surprised if they despawn, honestly. Although we do have quite a bit here now, but I need at least three sacks to do this. So there better be a lot. Okay, that's about to go. No, it's not. Because there's still lots of items in the hopper. This is why it's... This is just a bad idea. Like, ideally I'll just have hoppers instead of tracks here. That would make it actually work, maybe. Just place that in there now. 
Actually, no, I won't. Place this down here for the minecart to pick up. Like, this should be fully automatic, but there's still a few things for me to figure out. And that's full. Alright, that minecart won't go. I can tell you that for sure. Might as well collect these myself. Although now that I think about it, I don't actually need this anymore because I finished with the tunnel, haven't I? So there's no more point, is there? I mean, there's probably still stuff for me to do with it, but that, that can just share it among, among itself. I don't care now. Yeah, that's how it works. It's pretty slow. That's why I want to put hoppers in, because then it can collect everything, and nothing will have to despawn. But as you can see, there's no items missing around here, which is good. And neither here, which is also good. Yeah, this works pretty well, I think. I'm done with this project officially. Uh, there's still a few tweaks. I'll be back. That's, that, this probably took like 15 minutes. That's too long. This whole thing takes a really long time to do. So if you're ever going to do this, um, just know that it will take a long time to harvest and a very long time to build. I just want to show you how this thing works at the end here. Yep, that's it. It basically sends one more tick to this to get rid of the last item in there. And that's about it. This should be done. I'm just gonna... Nah, I'm not gonna send them. Um, yeah, this is the harvest. Um, I hope nothing despawned, but lots of things probably did. So, we're gonna leave it here for now. I'm not gonna replant it yet. And uh, let's go do something else. I guess I still haven't shown you what I did here. It's basically a minecart elevator going down. And there's uh, trap doors. So that you can go a lot faster. And then the last two are ladders. For some reason, just you couldn't just do it with the last one. You had to have two ladders. But yeah, that's how it works. It's pretty fast to get down here. And this is all done. As you can see. We can take a trip down. Uh, ideally, I'll still have a way of returning the boats. I was thinking of just pushing some hoppers down and uh, have like the return in several trips. So basically, have like a chest full of boats there, and you can break this boat and put send it down a hopper line. But obviously this is going to get unloaded, so it's not going to return instantly. It will take a few trips, but that's why you have a few chests. Like, I can have a chest full of it, and stuff like that. But yeah, that's how it works pretty much. You can write this back as well. I still need to finish the stuff back there, though. Uh, you can write this back as well, uh, and then go back up the minecart elevator. It's pretty fast. I feel like this was pointless for this kind of um, length of road. Could have just done a simple rail track. Yeah, that's how it works. Pretty fast. It's quite nice. Anyway, still lots of th things to do. I have also worked on this a little bit. I added one more, um, what you call it? One more set of rows here. So one more line of water. Over here, so now this has two stacks of pumpkins growing, or places for them to grow. So this basically has 120 the eight spots for them to grow, and that means that speeds are quite a bit faster now. Um, I've got quite a lot of pumpkins built up here. Uh, obviously, I, I can AFK here for like a, an hour or something, and I'll get loads, but. I, have, I don't have time for that. Uh, the ideal would be to build this up four times as well. However, really not bothered by that, so I'll call this done as well for now. Uh, I'll call it done, but still needs work.
Yeah, that's what I'm going to say. Uh, that is completely done. We should start taking up some things off our list, shouldn't we? Because we did lots of things. Um, the sheep farm, I, I'd call pretty much done. Just the entrance there needed to be done. And we need to do lots of buildings um, still here in the village. So let me come up with something. Huh. Appears that we still have a little bit missing here. Um, just right there. And right there. Need to update these two maps, so let's go do that right now. Not sure which one's which. Yes, this one's first. Apparently there's things here that have never been rendered before. Nice to know. Let's go update this map first. Uh, second then. And... All I'm looking for is that little bit. Good. Huh. Oh, this hasn't been updated either. Alright. Well, we're done then. Uh, appears to be. So... Nope. This goes here. And this goes here. Look at that. We have st stuff that's done. Pretty cool. Alright, so, in a creative world, we are. Um, got the tree farm design here now. This is going to be tough. So I need to have this go up to about here, don't I? Uh, let's do this. I need to go, I need to, for it to go up like that. Actually, like this, yeah. That's it. You know, we'll do five. We'll just do five. Then I guess we need some slabs. Um, I've done this right in my uh, main world already. Um, but I need to repeat it here as well. Because this is like the main design. But something like this. I think. Of course that's not going to work. That, that, and something like this. Now, will this work? Uh, no, it does not work. How about now? Nope, doesn't work at all. Oh, probably why. Yes, good. Right, so next bit is to automate uh, this bone meal thingy, which is going to be so much fun. Basically, I need to get bone meal to fire as soon as I put this this down. So, how can I do that? Preferably without using more observers. Can you move observers? Because if you can, this was probably how I'm going to do it. Uh, you can move observers. How useful is this going to be though? That's not going to be useful. Right. Thinking time, yeah. So we'd probably be standing up about here, I guess. Um, so what we can do is put, is have this block as an observer. Nope, still can't figure it out. 
So you have the observer here. So when we plant that, um, the bone meal will fire, which we can put that in for now. We need to gonna need to make a clock. Um, so what we should probably do is just have redstone go under. Go underneath like this, and this is where all the redstone fire is going to be. Over here is going to be a quadruple extender, so I uh, guess we're going to need to put the clock somewhere over here. And we're going to need to directly link it up to the dispenser here, so something like this. Right. So we're gonna need we're gonna need a torch and some comparators. This is probably probably going to be mostly comparators to be honest. Uh, so if we do something like this, like this, like this, uh, let's just test it with a torch. No, that doesn't work. Uh, one block further. Good, uh, not good. Yes, good. And from this we'll have a clock. Um, just a simple comparator clock, the one with fast ticks. You know which one I'm talking about. So, we'll go off like this. Will this work? No. That works. Right, it will be a pretty quick thing, so let's try it. That obviously did not work. Why not? Hmm. Are the comparators not fast enough for this or something? That works. Uh, we might need to extend this or something, I don't know. There we go. But that will continue firing, which is, which I guess is fine. The idea is to be able to just stand here AFK. You know what? I probably don't need that clock there because this is just going to keep updating this, isn't it? So if it's not growing, it will just keep updating this. Because that's technically a block update. Hey, I think I've done it. Yeah, look, it's updating. Will that grow? Should. That's a lot of bone meal. Okay, finally. Alright, so... What have I concluded? We don't need any of this, so... See if this will work, though. Because I doubt it will. That easily. We'll, we'll test it though. It might be a lot slower though. Ah. Do 
Never mind, I was wrong. We are still going to run this through. Give that one delay though. See how that works. Doesn't work. Okay. Three delay it is. Right, right, right. I didn't hook it up. Two delay works. We'll just change this. We might need to do something about these leaves, because, as you can see, they get in the way. So I'm thinking of just putting some, like, fence here, I don't know. Uh, fence gate, maybe. Two of them. Like this, where I can stand. And, yes, that doesn't close it. That's good. I can just hold right-click now. Um... This is going to be great for you, FK. Okay, nice. So with the amount of time that's taking to grow, I'm thinking that the quadruple extender will probably be fast enough. However, I'm still going to uh, make sure that you can't ex just randomly do it. So what I'll do probably is... Hold... Shift right click on this and have this block extend or something, or actually drop below one below so that. Oof. When it's done growing, it's gonna have to wait like five seconds or something so that it doesn't just destroy the quadruple extender. But yeah, this this is going to work nicely, I think. But I do believe that it's time to end the episode, because I actually need to go. And I probably won't be able to record this any longer, so yes. Thanks for watching, and I'll implement this design into the main world at some point. But I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.